Hi, good morning, good morning. Welcome and welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl, Faith. Here we are stepping out with Faith one more morning to work together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. If this is your first time joining us, a very special welcome to our channel for all our returning visitors and our subscribed members. An extra special welcome back to Escape Forever Free. So, of course, this is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide where we specifically focus on building the spiritual wholeness. And we try to do this with the effort of spending at least one hour with God every single day. So, you choose your best sacrificial time ahead, whether by the week or by the day faithfully as much as you can turn up at that time you watch this one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide which is your motivational spring to now go into your one hour alone time with god so that's how it works my friend it's a very simple mathematics and we invite you to truly consider this little um simple science to build this healthy habit of drawing near to god daily and by spending time with him so this is also our preparation day as we look forward to the hollowed sabbath day that will begin on friday at sunset wherever in the world you find yourself on the day friday at sunset and it continues through until saturday at sunset wherever in the world you find yourself despite time zones when the sun sets in that place that begins all that ends also the sabbath so friday sunset to saturday sunset i pray that if you do not understand sabbath truths that you really take it up as a topic of study and research and find the truth about it the sabbath was changed of course by authorities and powers of this world to sunday according to their intention changed quote unquote but the hollow day remains the same and it cannot be changed it was um, ordained by God and it is sealed by him and so therefore it is unchangeable so let us understand Sabbath truths and give um, unto Caesar what is due unto Caesar and give unto God what is due unto God all right so enough of the preaching let us now go into our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide for today as we bring chapter 34 on entitled spiritualism in the great controversy to a close let us pray. Holy Father, thank you so much for this opportunity of life. Again, we place it into your hands, asking of you to forgive us of our sins, reconsecrate us to your service, and pour out your early rain upon us, Father, so that when the pouring of the latter rain comes, we'll be ready to receive it. And based on all the signs of the times that we're living in, we can tell, Father, the way marks are clear that the outpouring of the latter rain cannot be very far, if not has already started for some who are prepared to receive it father take full control of us now and give us light as we seek after truth and light we pray in Jesus' name amen all right so let's now go into our memory text we have been practicing saint john 3 and verse 3 all week and right now we would like to try to recite it and it says john 3 and verse 3 jesus answered and said unto him verily verily I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Again, John 3 verse 3, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Let's see if we got it right. Let's read it. John 3 verse 3 says, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So we did get it correct, I do believe. And if we didn't, I encourage us to continue to practice so we can commit these texts to memory because the time is coming, my friends, not to scare anyone, but just to help us to be prepared because preparedness is key. The time is coming when these lovely books especially the holy scriptures will again as in time before be taken away from us what then will be our crutch of support so let's connect to the father now in our alone time with him so we know him and he knows us and let us put these precious truths precious gifts of songs and hymns and memory texts in our memory where no one can reach them all right so let's now go to the controversy as we wrap up it reads here, Satan has long been prepared for his final effort to deceive the world. 
But matter of fact, sorry, we are picking up here at the last um, couple of pages. Page 561.2 is where we're reading from. Page 561, paragraph 2. The foundation of his work was laid by the assurance given to Eve in the garden. Let's go to Genesis, turn your Bibles 3 and verse 4 and 5. We will read. It says, And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. 5. For God know. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Back to the pages of the controversy. Little by little, he has prepared the way for his masterpiece of deception in the development of spiritualism. He has not yet reached the full accomplishment of his designs, but it will be reached in the last remnant of time, which my friends here to comment, we are living in that last time and it's coming up to the remnant sooner than we think. Says the prophet in Revelation 16 verses 13 and 14. Please turn your Bibles with us to Revelation 16. Let's read together verses 13 and 14. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather, to gather them to battle of, to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Back to the pages of the great controversy. Except those who are kept by the power of God through faith in his word, the whole world will be swept into the ranks of this delusion. The people are fast being lulled to a fatal security to be awakened only by the outpouring of the wrath of God. Said the Lord God, quote, according to Isaiah 28, verses 17 and 18. Let's read it together as we bring this chapter to a close. Isaiah 28, verses 17 and 18. Judgment also will lay to the line, and righteousness to the plummet, and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the waters shall overflow the hiding place, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by it. My friends, this is how we end chapter 34 of the Great Controversy. Please continue to study to show yourself approved. We must now go to our meditational hymn in the interest of time. And please read slowly this chapter, especially these last paragraphs and these biblical texts in reference to them. Read the entire chapters. Our um, hymn, My Hope is Built on Nothing Else. Let's do stanza four. When he shall come with trumpet sound, oh, may I then in him be found, dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. Let us pray. Holy Righteous Father, thank you for the messages of truths that we have learned today. Hard and troubling as these messages may be in our ears, they are true. Help us not to be fooled and to be um, distracted by the lies of the devil as it concerns these facts of the state of the dead and the reward of the righteous versus the wicked. Father, help us to work out our salvation now with fear and trembling and flee delusions and lies that make us comfortable to do evil. In Jesus' name we pray. And also we pray for a special blessing as we go into our Sabbath worship. This um, Sabbath coming, beginning Friday sunset through to Saturday sunset, may we keep it holy and be ready as we go through preparation day today. May we be ready ahead of sunset to sit with the angels and your special appearance, Father, and worship and commune with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
In other words, the four mouths and the meditation of our hearts, we know and always accept to be in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. My friends, happy Sabbath when it comes, and may God bless you and keep you and stick to the blueprint or roadmap into New Jerusalem. God bless you, God's willing. We'll meet again next week together. God bless you.